My name is Sarah Silver. I'm a photographer in New York City. I shoot beauty and fashion and dance. I've been around photography since I was a little girl. Photography was something that was always in the house. My grandfather was a photographer. My aunt was a photographer. There was always a camera somewhere in the house. Pick it up, take some pictures. My specialty is movement, whether it be fashion or beauty. I think that my strength is in finding the right moment while I'm shooting. We've had a whole slew of amazing clients coming through recently. Hair clients like Clairol and Matrix, and we shoot for L'Oreal, we shoot for um, Target, we shoot for Bloomingdale's, and um, Neiman Marcus. I definitely prefer shooting in studio. I'm a control freak, and if I can't control the environment, then I am not a happy girl. I really love the immediacy of digital photography. I hate guessing, and digital for me is like having an insurance policy. I know what I have, I know it's right. A lot of times when you're shooting movement, there's so much left to chance that you almost could never be sure that you got everything perfect. And as a perfectionist, I think that digital photography gives me the ability to really feel comfortable knowing that I have the shots that I need to get. Perfect. One more time. Ready? One, two, three. I was first introduced to Moab Paper. Um, somebody that I respect greatly in the industry said, have you tried Moab? And I said, give me some samples. And I was sold from the first shoot. My prints used to run traditionally magenta. And for me, skin tone is the most important because I shoot a lot of beauty. The best thing about the Moab Paper and their profiles was that I had perfect skin tone right off the bat. Right, so we're gonna stretch the wall. We're gonna stretch the floor. Unfortunately, my mask is not perfect. Let's cut that out. What's really wonderful about having a great printer in my own studio is that we take my favorite shot from each shoot and we print it right on set. We tape it up, beautiful inkjet on the Moab paper and the client says, I'm gonna, can I, can I take this back and, and show my retouchers? And we haven't even done anything yet. I mean, the color is beautiful, the skin tone's gorgeous, and they walk away with these soft proofs that they kind of, they tell their proofers to match, which is amazing. I think it's really important to calibrate your monitor before you start shooting every day, every time. Um, it's a little bit of overkill, but sometimes colors change, sometimes lighting conditions, ambient lighting conditions can change. It's better to be safe than sorry. I really like that one. And right in there is really beautiful, but the scarf here could really be extended. Let's do that one. The percentage of tear sheets to photographic prints in my book is zero. I'm really lucky. The way that my book has been created is that my portfolio is purely inkjet photographic prints and it's fantastic from start to finish. It's exactly my vision of my work and not an art director's. I think if you're a photographer starting out, it's a really good idea to make it look like you've been shooting for years. So you shoot great images and you put them in a book that looks like everybody else's book. 11 by 14 is the right size. And um, that you create a body of work that really says something about you consistently, that every picture stands alone, but also as a group, it shows that you can consistently execute quality work. So the most important advice that I would give to a starting out photographer is that it's really important to know your gear and to be your own tech support. You're shooting at night, you're shooting in a basement, you're shooting in the middle of a warehouse and something breaks. What are you going to do? You don't have the luxury of nine to five tech support you gotta fix your stuff yourself. And believe me, things break all the time. Do you know how to take your computer apart? Do you know how to troubleshoot software problems? I mean, if you can picture it breaking, it will happen at some point in your career. Fixing it yourself guarantees that you always get your shots.